Hi and welcome to this month's Keyshot Quick Tip. This video will demonstrate how easy it is to set up, output, and composite an ambient occlusion pass to help fine-tune brightness and contrast of self-shadows in your final render. Sometimes, perfectly smooth surfaces like chrome and shiny plastic are the most difficult materials to communicate clearly in 3D renderings due to reflections, hotspots, and highlights. Having control of your shadows can help you with the final finishing touch to these types of materials and more. As you can see, I've already set up materials and lighting for final output. I'm using a white plastic with a white specular, and the refraction index increased to 1.8 to help pop out the reflections. The sharp reflection across the display was created by an emissive plane with a gradient opacity applied. While the environment uses a completely black background with a handful of pins to create the high contrast reflections and highlights that you see. I've rendered out this image using default render settings and it's looking pretty good, but it could still use more contrast in the shadowing to make it pop. In order to render an ambient occlusion pass, we'll need to create an all-white HDR in Photoshop. So create a new document, with a 2 by 1 aspect ratio, at 300 dpi, and a 32-bit RGB color mode. Save this out as an HDR to your environment's resources folder. Now we'll go back to our scene to apply the environment. Duplicate the model and hide the original. Now link all materials, remove the bump maps, and change the material to a white diffuse. Reduce the gamma value to darken shadows, since we will have complete control over their opacity when we composite in Photoshop. We want the ground shadows to show on the model, but need it separated out from the background. So we'll add it to a render layer and output as a TIFF or PNG with transparency and render layers enabled on output. Open the layer in a new document, copy and paste in place to ensure alignment. Go to Layer, Matting, Defringe to remove the dark pixels around the image. Change the layer mode to multiply and adjust opacity to your liking. Outputting an ambient occlusion pass with your final rendering is a simple way to gain greater control of the brightness and contrast of self shadows in your scene allowing you to clearly and accurately communicate materials in Keyshot 4.